What's up guys, Dirt Bandit back. I am here today to share with you a, a research tip that um, I just kind of came across. Uh, this has been on my mind to make this video for a while. And um, what it is, is Ancestry.com. Use that to find your ancestors old home sites. And um, it actually has a fairly recent, um, I, they just added this I think within like the past year or two. Um, let me show you what I'm talking about. So you're gonna wanna go up to search and go to all collections. And by the way, if you don't have this, um, if you don't have ancestry.com, um, I, I don't, I'm not affiliated, affiliated with them. Uh, they don't pay me to advertise, um, but you can sign up for free for, I believe it's 30 days or you can, and, or you can go to a, a Mormon genealogy library and, um, you can do your, your genealogy research there for free. So that's another option for you. And um, I've been going there for a while. They don't push any religious stuff on you. They just let you do research. So that's pretty awesome. So uh, first thing here, guys, you're going to want to want to go to um, look up the U.S. indexed county land ownership maps from 1860 to 1918. I know that's not a super old date range, but uh, you could have a family member who bought their homestead back in like 1700 and their family might still own it. Uh, in between these years so if you look them up you might be able to find their their old homestead on that map so um, don't let that that um, small date range discourage you from doing this kind of research on this website because you might be able to find something a lot older so click on that and for me I'm gonna research Franklin means and go to, um, if this matches, if you find uh, you're doing research and this matches your person, you go to view record, go to view. And it'll bring up this map. And um, when you're looking at this map, uh, it'll tell you, should tell you. So on the, the county here, uh, County, Cowley, Kansas, Town, Bolton, Atlanta, Omnia, whatever that is. Uh, so you want to look up uh, that name on a on a recent map, and it'll kind of give you a better idea of uh, where to find uh, exactly where this is on, say, uh, Gaia GPS or Onyx map. And that's kind of what I use to kind of match up this old map with the new map, and you want to look at stuff like um, like railroad tracks right here coming through you want to look at that landmark because that'll most likely still be there on the current map and any kind of landmarks you can find see this is Kansas City um, it's all it's kind of halfway in this little black box so I couldn't really make out um, exactly what that was at first but uh, I was able to match up Kansas City and all these roads are pretty much the same so I matched up this railroad here and my family's uh, homestead was right in this little square here. So these, they're in the big old square plots. So it was pretty easy to find. Let me show you what this looks like on a modern map. So on Onyx, um, when I did my research for that particular map uh, for this, I used Onyx. And uh, unfortunately, you know, this does work but um, I only signed up for Oregon and that so now it doesn't really give me the homeowners the landowners information so uh, I was able to copy the uh, GPS here which I've already done and uh, go over to Gaia GPS and I pasted it here and um, it's got Gaia GPS has a um, private land um, map layover that, that you could use and for the one year membership for Guy GPS I think it's like $37 and I think Onyx was like in the 20 something dollar range so for $37 for the premium you can use this tool and it covers the, the whole United States so that's pretty dang awesome so anyways I got that pasted here the, the GPS from Onyx and now I know the homeowners information and I can maybe contact him and possibly get permission. So, um, I just wanted to share that with you guys today. If you're interested in in um, 
think IGPS, I am an affiliate for that. So um, I think I've done, you know, I've done a couple videos on this so far. So if you guys want to check those out, I'll put those in the um, in the link up above or uh, down in the description if you want to check those out. But I got to tell you, I mean, it's you've got these other options for historic topos for from 1900 and then 1930. I mean, just those two alone, I mean, they're fantastic. Um, but I will say it doesn't cover the whole United States. If you live in some of these other places, like I'll show you here, let's zoom out for a second. As you can see, it covers, I would estimate, probably half the United States. Um, it covers uh, quite a bit of the western U.S. It's kind of patchy in the, in, in the uh, central United States. And uh, definitely a lot in the eastern, northeastern side of the U.S., so um, if you live in any of those areas, um, you'll definitely, this, this is definitely a, a good resource for you. So uh, go ahead and check out my other videos on this. It's pretty descriptive on how to find old homesteads and um, I know you guys are going to love it. So anyway, guys, with that said, I'm going to let you go. I appreciate you watching the video and I hope you guys have a fantastic 4th of July weekend and I will see you on the next video.